Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to make a filter so that you can salvage your old cooking oil for future projects. Making this filter is easy. All you need are a couple of plastic bottles, some cotton fabric, rubber bands, a drill with some bits, and a knife. I actually find a hole punch or a nail of some kind really makes it much easier to start drilling on plastics like you have with these plastic tops. So it's a good way to start. You can prepare the bottle tops by making a little hole before you apply the drill. Once you've tapped a little hole in each of the tops, start small with the drill and slowly work your way up until you get the size that you want. You can always remove more if you need to. It's best to use some kind of a clamp or a vise at this point to hold your bottle tops. Uh, it's probably not best to follow my example here. It's easy to get your fingers with a drill bit. Even better, leave the top on the bottle and start drilling through this way. You can keep your hand farther removed from the drill bit and it is much safer. After you drill a little bit, check the fit. If it's still not quite big enough, go at it some more. Once it seems like you can force it in for a snug fit, you're ready for the next step. Take the large top, turn it upside down, and force it over the threads of the smaller bottle. Once you have it past all the threads, you'll take the small top and screw it down so that it's firmly in place. With both caps in place, we're going to take our knife and remove the bottom of the small bottle. To be honest, you could do this part just as well with a good pair of scissors. This part should be much easier with a box cutter. Looks like it's time for me to put a new blade in. Now we get to put the two pieces of our bottles back together again and get ready to start filtering some oil. Just about any clean cotton cloth will work for this part of the process, but uh, I have a bunch of muslin cotton that I bought when I was working on some coffee filter projects. At this point you're just making a cone of fabric big enough so that it comes up around all sides and can be pulled down over the edges. Add a couple of rubber bands to hold your filter in place, and your project is complete. For my first pass at this, I actually put the entire filter inside of an old dirty bucket, just in case there were any unexpected leaks. Fortunately, I was quite surprised, and there weren't. Slowly start adding oil to the top part of the filter. Watch how much goes through, and then keep adding more. Once the bottom is about full, it's a good time to stop, just to make sure you don't overfill that bottom bottle. I kept the bottom part of the small bottle for cleanup purposes. Remove the rubber bands, then you can remove the filter, and the filter's gonna drip some oil, so I put it right in that bottom piece of the plastic bottle. Even from the outside, you can see how much dirt and debris that filter caught. Not bad. Now I just take the filter back apart, take the top piece back off, add it to the other bottom part of that bottle so that I can take everything together to clean up. Grab a fresh cap, close the bottle of oil, and you now have clean oil for whatever purpose you want to use it for. Oil like this can be reused for cooking, you can use it for making soap, and some people even use it for making biodiesel. In upcoming features, I'll show you how I use this cooking oil to make lamps. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed-in DIY to come.